สวัสดีครับ On today's Thailand news today, Thais explain who they want to get the first COVID shots, more Buddhist monks behaving badly, and the fallout from the Burmese military coup. But first, this was traveling along a s o l m o n t r e road today. Wow, more headlights and mirrors than a Broadway star. Either they're trying to get a part in the next Mad Max film, or perhaps just really bad eyesight. Anyway, on with today's main news stories. A survey that was carried out by the National Institute of Development Administration shows that most people believe politicians should be at the back of the queue for the COVID-19 vaccine. The public health minister Anutin Chan v i r a k u n has confirmed that Thailand will receive its first vaccine delivery from China this week. But respondents to the NIDA poll say medical workers should be at the front of the line to be vaccinated, and politicians should get to the back of the queue. The poll surveyed 1,318 people between February the 15th to the 17th, asking the question. Who should be the first to be vaccinated against COVID-19? The government has stated that healthcare workers in both the private and public sector will be prioritized in the national vaccine rollout. But here's who ties want to be at the front of the line. Police in the eastern province of Chonburi have arrested four Buddhist monks accused of taking drugs at a local temple. The four have also been defrocked, with the abbot of the temple ordering to leave the monkhood. The arrests occurred over the weekend after the abbot alerted police to reports of drug taking at a temple in the sub-district of Nong k a n g k o k Chonburi police inspected the temple, arresting the four unnamed monks, who it's understood have confessed to taking illegal drugs. Urine tests have been carried out on the four monks, with police confirming the results of the drug test, although officials have not named the drug in question. The four men are now in police custody, awaiting prosecution. A Thai celebrity has been sentenced to jail for charges relating to his birthday party last month that became a notorious COVID-19 cluster. The South Bangkok District Court sentenced the celebrity, known as DJ m a t u m to two months in jail with a fine of 20,000 baht for violating the emergency decree which bans social gatherings to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. The DJ pled guilty, and the court cut his sentence in half to a month in jail and a 10,000 baht fine. The court also suspended his sentence for a year. DJ m a t u m held his 31st birthday party at a rooftop bar at Bangkok's swanky Banyan Tree Hotel on January the 8th, where people were drinking alcohol and not abiding by disease control practices like wearing face masks and social distancing. During this time, bars in Bangkok were closed and restaurants were prohibited from serving alcohol in an effort to limit gatherings and prevent the spread of a new wave of the coronavirus. The celebrity tested positive for COVID-19 shortly after his party. Doctors reviewed DJ m a t u m s travel history and say they believe he caught the virus at a New Year's party in Chiang Mai. Doctors say they believe a man who attended both the New Year's party in Chiang Mai and the celebrity's party in Bangkok spread the virus at both events. 30 people who tested positive for COVID-19 attended the New Year's party in Chiang Mai, and nine of them also went to the celebrity's birthday party. The people who attended the birthday party will also face criminal charges, according to the police. As a fallout from the latest Burmese coup, now three weeks old, the True News social media page operated by the Burmese military has been shut down by Facebook, with the tech giant accusing it of inciting violence. The page was shut down yesterday as authorities in Myanmar ramp up the violent response to citizens protesting the forced removal of leader Aung San Suu Kyi. 
The authorities continue to crack down on those protesting the coup and calling for the military to surrender its power. Su Ji is currently in custody alongside several members of her administration since February the 1st, when the army seized power in an early morning bloodless coup. For its part, the military is insisting the power grab was lawful, claiming on its now defunct Facebook page that Su Ji's victory in November was the result of a fraudulent election. There have been a number of large protests in major Burmese cities since Su Ji's removal. On Saturday, two people were killed when the army fired at protesters in the city of Mandalay. There have also been reports of nightly internet blackouts, and authorities have banned several social media platforms. Facebook says it has removed the Tatmadaw True News Information team page for, quote, repeated violations of our community standards prohibiting incitement of violence and coordinating harm. It has removed hundreds of similar Burmese army pages in recent years, including content targeting the Rohingya Muslim population. Now, in another Myanmar-related news, border police have increased patrols in the northern province of Chiang Rai amid concerns that Burmese protesters may try to cross into the Masai district. This follows a military crackdown in the Burmese border town of Ta Kilek as the army tries to quell anti-coup rallies. Thailand's Immigration Bureau says the authorities in Masai continue to monitor the situation in Ta Kilek. Recently, thousands have rallied in the town of Miawadi on the border of the Masaw district in the Thai province of Tak, while another protest was held in Ta Chilek. The Ta Chilek protest led to the border between Thailand and Myanmar being shut for two hours. More protests are underway today. Thai immigration have issued a warning that nobody fleeing the military crackdown in Myanmar will be granted entry to Thailand, but will instead be turned away from the border. Thank you for watching today's show. Don't forget to head over to our channel for plenty of videos, including from our new Tiger vloggers. Meanwhile, you're up to date on the Tiger. Sawadee krab.